if some of you are unaware, there is this trend wherein men and women come together to talk about the male and female gaze. And I have my own inputs to this as a woman. There are videos wherein men try to attempt to, I guess you can say, seduce women by their actions, behavior, or even facial expressions. And most of them do not compare to what we women actually find seductive in a man. There is a clear distinction between the male and female gaze, and I will explain it to you in the point of view of a woman. So, to the men listening right now, you better whip out a notebook and pen and also listen very carefully. And for my women, let me know if you feel the same way or perhaps you have a different output. But at the end of the day, let me clarify that we all have our distinct taste, but I could guarantee that almost all the women would agree with me for today's topic. The male gaze is what men think women find attractive. The female gaze is what women actually find attractive. I think the differences between this is how we perceive sensuality. Explain it to you in four categories. The mindset, the outlook, the exemplars of the gaze, and the characteristics. Okay, so for the mindset, I think that men find sensuality in revealing and objectifying. This is the hard truth, but from what I've seen and understand from men is that they find rawness and revelation as surprising and bold. And moreover, when a man sees something they like, and I'm not only speaking here in regards to attraction, there is a part of them that wants to take possession. And in this sense, men somewhat objectify their possessions. Similarly to the male gaze, what they find attractive is what they think women also find attractive, which is definitely not the case. Again, men find things that are revealing to be attractive. And this could be seen when men create thirst traps with themselves, shirtless or perhaps working out. I'm not completely in the void that women find this unattractive, but it does not have a greater effect in sensuality than the mindset of men to be private and respectful. What I mean by this is that women prefer men who are not publicly bold. They prefer a man who is kept to himself and who most of the time has this silent, confidence in him we find it attractive when a man is bold when he has to be but not when it is shown in a daily basis there is this video wherein men try to attempt to do the female gaze and what's so different is the energy we could sense that it is forced and most of the men try to attempt the look that looks like we are meat we are food and honestly that is not sexy neither attractive and why because it feels like we are being attacked and immediately objectified and sexualized that is not what we want you guys have it wrong we want you to look at us like we are the most beautiful thing and that your look is accompanied with safety and protection okay so cut off the i'm going to eat you look because this is not it it feels creepy and it feels like you're a pervert so stop i will not take credit for this and i don't know who started it but i saw a comment on one of the videos wherein men try to attempt the female gaze and one of them said that men tend to have this look that says you're lucky to have me we're in with the female gaze we are looking for a man to look like he is saying i'm lucky to have you you're lucky to have me is different from i'm lucky to have you now i have noticed that the 
you're lucky to have me male gaze is egocentric which is immediately a turn off a huge turn off for us women we don't like boasting neither do we want a man who is boastful i mean i think the same goes for men men don't like people who are egotistic and yet i always find them to be i think it's nature to be competitive especially for men and it is not a red flag but it is annoying we prefer the i'm lucky to have you gaze because it's humble and pure of love we know that with the you're lucky to have me it's more about you but what we want is that your focus is on us i will give you each a public figure in the male gaze and in the female gaze for the male gaze we have chris hemsworth specifically thor now we all love thor but i think men love thor even more men constantly compare their physicality to men and i've seen so many of them compare themselves with thor He's big, he's buff, he's fit, he's strong and loud. He's always out there to be seen. And I think he is the perfect description of an alpha male. We women don't necessarily find this attractive. So for the female gaze, we have Tom Hiddleston, specifically Loki. We don't love Loki because he is a trickster. We love Loki because he is in contrast to his brother, Thor, proper and gentle. But he still has the masculine characteristics that we find attractive. He isn't as loud or as seen as Thor, and yet he has this quiet confidence in him that is charming because it shows that he doesn't need approval from others. He exudes this humble quality in him, even though he might not be but it gives off that energy that we like. Now, this is the part where I think you guys have been waiting for. The characteristics in the male gaze are often physical and portrayed to be an alpha male. Again, it is often loud, boastful, energetic, and revealing. The characteristics in the female gaze are certainly the mannerisms of a gentleman, humble, confident and protective so my conclusion for this is that men are animals and i don't blame them because it is biologically wired that men are easily and more aroused than women so whatever they find attractive they think we find attractive if you want to perfect the female gaze for whatever reason you have to learn how to not look like a creep look like you love her for her, give off this energy wherein you want to protect while maintaining comfortability and be gentler in your actions while still being masculine, if that makes sense. So this is it for our episode. Now send me your female gaze thirst traps. <laughs>